Well, anyone who's ever enrolled their child in ballet class knows you have to buy tights, you have to buy shoes, and sometimes you have to learn as a dad how to put a bun in their hair too, which can You've be challenging. Done a good job on that. But finding dancewear that matches individual skin tones, well, that can be a challenge. And that's changing thanks to companies like Atlanta Ballet, which recently partnered with a dancewear company to create a line of tights and shoes that reflects the dancers wearing those outfits. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken joins us live this morning. And Paul, you stopped by the ballet's boutique to check out the new designs. I sure did. Yeah, good morning to both of you. And right now, as you know, artistic companies around the world are having really tough conversations about representation and diversity and the images that they present. And leaders at Atlanta Ballet say they didn't just want to talk about those things. They wanted to physically represent them for everybody to see. certain things every ballet dancer needs. Flexibility, of course, strength and coordination. But even more basic than those, a ballet dancer needs tights. And for so many years, when it came to buying tights, a dancer's options were limited. Basically pink, pink shoes and pink tights. That's changing thanks to dance companies like Atlanta Ballet. Oh, this is so exciting. So right Last now, month, the Ballet's yeah, Center for Dance ballet. Education announced a new line of dancewear available in a variety of skin tone shades. These tights and shoes, a better reflection of the diverse dancers who will wear them. You know, it really embraces the heritage and culture of dancers that walk in the building. They feel like you know they can take ownership of who they are and feel confident in what you know they bring. It means a lot when when you're accepted for your full person. The center partnered with dancewear company Sodansa USA for the line, making it available to both students and professional dancers. There was always a lack of variety of options uh, to help our dancers to achieve their, uh, their goals. This way, those students can pick the color that matches their skin and embrace who they are. Right now, the Sodansa tights and shoes are rolling out online and in Atlanta Ballet's three boutique locations. These two shades are just the starting point. I see a, a great future of having a range of maybe 10 colors to choose from. For Atlanta Ballet leadership, the new tights and shoes aren't just a step into the company's future. They're part of one big, beautiful leap for ballet dancers everywhere. I really wanted this to be much more than tights and shoes. Um, it just felt like something amazing was getting ready to happen. It's really to have an even, a seat at the table, or in this case, a place at the bar. And again, the tights and shoes available at Atlanta Ballet's three boutique locations and also online. And anybody can buy them. You don't have to be a student of the Atlanta Ballet or a dancer with Atlanta Ballet. Anybody can buy those products. For information, we'll put links up on our website a little bit later this morning. Go to fox5atlanta.com and look for the article under the Good Day section. And right now, Atlanta Ballet is really busy. They're about to premiere a brand new show called Silver Linings, which is a really unique example of making things work during the pandemic. I'm going to have that story coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Oh, great. I just love how she said it gives these young ladies a seat at the table and a place at the bar. That's feeling of inclusion. A place at the bar. I love so that too. So important. All right. Thanks, Paul.